In the next unit, we turn to the cut knurling tools of the RF2 series. The RF2 knurling tools are used for the profile RGE. The workpiece preparation corresponds to the settings of the RF1 series. Please ensure concentricity and chamfer the workpiece before knurling. We then measure the workpiece diameter. Check the zero position of the tool head. If necessary, adjust the zero position with the two setting screws. In order to set the clearance angle, loosen both locking screws. By means of the setting scale, the diameter can be set correctly. The locking screws are tightened again. The center height should now be adjusted. For lathes and auto lathes, the center height corresponds to the center of the joint bolt. For CNC and sliding head auto lathes, the center height is integrated and corresponds to the top of the shank. The knurling tool is clamped into the tool holder. Touch the workpiece carefully. The two knurling wheels should touch the workpiece evenly. The setting screws are used for adjustment. We also need to set the clearance angle with this tool type. For clearance angle setting, move against the workpiece again. And check the knurl impression. The knurl impression should also correspond to one third of the knurl width. If the complete knurl width is visible, the clearance angle needs to be corrected. In the next step, the zero position of the tool should be defined. The starting position of the knurl is set in the next step. Approach the knurling wheel with its cutting edge approximately one millimeter in Z minus and in X direction. Now the profile depth has to be adjusted. The setting of the profile depth is in X direction. The profile depth is tooth depth plus one tenth plus minus five hundredths. Adhering to the demonstrated steps, you should be able to produce a well-formed knurling profile RGE. If the profile depth is not achieved, the setting of the profile depth is adjusted and the knurling will be repeated.